Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Potato. Welcome back to Despot's Game. Uh, at the end of the last episode, we managed to defeat the boss, uh, which was very, very good. Uh, we managed to get into the, I guess, the multiplayer aspect, the auto brawler sort of thing, uh, where you face off against other players to determine your ranking in the in the leaderboard. It was pretty cool. I enjoyed it a lot. The only problem was is that towards the end uh, of the boss fight, the boss did manage to kill off uh, a huge number of puny humans, actually. So we went into the uh, we went into the leaderboard stage with a much diminished team size, which I'm very much hoping uh, we're going to be able to rectify over the course of this playthrough here. Right, so a couple of things that we want to consider. Uh, the game has been updated, so there's been a couple of updates. I believe that I can now tab into the map. I don't know if I was able to do that before, but I can now, which is kind of nice. We can see which level we're on, and we can actually teleport between rooms, which is... Uh, which is kind of nice. Um, we're going to go for a little bit of a different strat here. I want to see if we can try and get the shop upgraded. Not necessarily to a max level, but we want to see if we can try and maybe make some progress uh, on the first floor to try, and getting that, uh, to try and getting that upgraded. Getting the crossbow in the first instance. I like the idea of the crossbow. I don't like the idea of the, uh, of the eggheads. I think we're going to pick up both the crossbow and the Excalibur. Excalibur, pretty important because it gives us a large boost of HP very, very early on, which is very nice. Uh, then we're going to upgrade the shop twice. We're going to give you the crossbow. Cool. And then we're going to head on to the next shop over here. So uh, I do believe that some of the things have been changed. I don't know exactly what changes have been made, but um, but this was a pretty this was a pretty capable character the last time we played. Oh, that's going to, yeah, that's going to do a lot of damage right there. Not much that we can really do about that. And frankly, I think that we're quite fortunate to get a, to get out of here with four puny humans still alive. So there we go. We are sort of forced to buy things early on, which uh, which is fine. Uh, two crossbows available immediately. I mean, I like that idea. I like the idea of the plague mask as well. That's it's pretty exciting. Uh, I really like the idea of the crash cart, though. I really, really, really like the idea of the crash cart. Um, yeah, let's pick up the crash cart. Let's put it on you. Let's level, or I say level your HP to max. Let's let's max out your HP there, which is kind of nice. Do we want to, I think I want to head up and, and snag the mutation in the first instance. And then, again, we want to prioritize upgrading the shop, buying out some mutations, maybe making a little bit of progress on that front would be, would be pretty darn good. Honestly, just keep the newbie towards the very rear, because... The newbie is almost certainly the most likely to die uh, in this uh, in this team here. What do we got? Shooters have a 10% chance to cast fear on an attack for four seconds, so long as the opponent's attack is uh, attack is lower. Okay, I don't think I've seen that before, so that's very very nice indeed. Uh, let's head over to the shop here, and uh, this would be a good opportunity to perhaps feed a little bit. Yeah, I mean we only have we only have four puny humans, so we might as well we might as well go for it. Hmm. Shooters use rubber bullets that ricochet one time, hitting additional enemies. Not going to be super useful. Not going to be super useful in this fight. Honestly, maybe thick skin would be good. I think we'll pick up... We'll pick up sail and thick skin, but I actually should have done that after this fight because uh, this is a shop and therefore I shouldn't be wasting my... Uh, I shouldn't be wasting my finances. Are we going to be able to keep Excalibur Boy alive? I think we will. But we're going to lose a newbie in return. Okay, that kind of sucks, but it's also kind of to be expected. Uh, what do we got here? Nothing that I actually really like. Yoga pants? That's 280 HP. I do like the idea of picking up the yoga pants. Just a sword. Just a sword and just a sword. That will get the combo going. That will get the combo going. Alright, I think given that it is the boss on the... On the next floor. We're going to buy some value swords here. We're going to buy some value swords. You can go back a little bit. We'll make sure that we put the two brand new units on the front line. And we will head into the boss. And hopefully it shouldn't be too challenging. Although it already feels like things are going a little bit less ideally. Yeah, okay, let's see if we can try and maybe develop some, uh, some shooting capability. Okay, hopefully we don't lose Alex the Samurai here. But, I mean, it's looking very, very likely that that will be the case. Oh, that was the fear ability. That was the shooter fear, fear ability, actually. That was very nice indeed. Okay, we just lose Alex the Samurai. Um, unfortunately, that means... 
that we lose our highest level individual and we don't have an opportunity to level them up, which is a bit irritating, but that's fine. I, I want to see if we can try and get metabolism. Let's immediately see if we can try and get metabolism. Very, very good to have that. Allows us to restore our HP whenever we feed our humans, because of course we do have to feed our humans. As you move to the next level, your humans come across an old gentleman. He's wearing a blue shirt and holding a briefcase. You, yes, Elsa, you're coming with me. Which one's Elsa? I wish I could tell. Let one human go with a strange man. We get the 20 tokens. Yeah, we knew that that was going to be the case. Uh, that was one of our just a sword wielders. I think that I'm actually completely okay with that. Yeah, that's that's actually very, very okay. Uh, okay, I mean, I'm just being offered sword after sword after sword here. That's also... That's also a, uh, a, a shooter, as they say. So, I think I'm kind of interested in picking that up. One, two... And then I'm going to pick up the shooter as well. We're going to throw the Excaliburs onto here. Because, again, we need this We need this front line. We need this front line. And that's a good team, actually. That's that's not a bad team. That's not a bad team. I do want to spec more into mutations, but, uh, but that's okay. We can't feed. We don't need to feed, unfortunately. So we may end up losing one person here. I really, really hope that we don't... Oh, our healing, our healing is coming, coming in clutch there. Holy cow, that was, that was, that was tight. Uh, let's pick up two food. What the heck is this in here? Okay, I have absolutely categorically zero idea what the heck could be in this room. Oh my goodness. Can't bear anymore. What the heck? Don't you dare. One more push. Uh, damn it, another zombie bites the dust. Zombies aren't known for durability. I tried giant mechs, but that way I only spend humans faster. I see. Actually, I don't... Actually, I didn't. What's going on here? Uh, isn't it obvious I was charging the battery, but the zombie part of the machine broke? Uh, there is a lab with uh, T-virus samples on this level. Bring me one and I'll shower you in gifts. You want me to bring you a virus that turns people into bloodthirsty monsters to frighten the poor slave into producing power. I'll give you 25 tokens. So where did you say <laughs> was the lab? I've marked it on your map. I'll be waiting. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Interesting. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. That's very, very cool indeed. Uh, do we want to go to the shop? I think that we should maybe... I think we should maybe go to the shop. I think we should maybe uh, see if we can try and do some normal fights on our way up to... On our way up to the boss here. Uh, let's swap these two peeps around and then let's fight this again. Pretty hopeful that we're going to be able to survive here. But oh my goodness, it's an absolute... It's an absolute slaughter. The speed that the... The speed that the shooters are able to shoot at just is freaking miserable, isn't it? It's really not good. I mean, look, they deal damage, but it's just slow as all heck. Uh, so that leaves us with a whole bunch of a whole bunch of gold. But uh, wow, that was a massacre. That was awful. That was absolutely dreadful. Um, sure. I mean, we have to, right? We have to. At least we were able to recover some uh, some items here. But, on the, I mean, on the whole, that was that was a pretty miserable affair. Yeah, we need to start getting some combos going here. This is... This is a problem. Let's see if we can try and get some healers... Some healers on the go. I mean, if we're gonna... If we're gonna lose people, then we can at least make sure that they're a little bit... Uh, a little bit tankier and therefore healed up a little bit more. So we're able to get a little bit... A little bit of extra value out of them. I mean, we really cannot be losing this many people. It's really not good. Can we actually heal this frontline person, please? Okay, healing definitely makes a difference. Who'd have thunk it, eh? Healing is good. Healing is good. This is what we want to see more of. Okay. There we go. Oh my goodness. I know that these are only like level 1 Excalibur wielders, but uh, but that's still uh, a heck of a lot of damage coming in from these zombies here. Yeah. Alright, pick up one thing of food. Let's head to the shop. This is going to be a little bit of a tough fight. Again, we don't have... We don't have any combos. We don't have any frontlining capability. We're just gonna see our we're just gonna see our healers go ham here. And again, I'm just not convinced that the, the crossbow wielder is is that good at all. 
it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel strong. It doesn't feel strong, not by any stretch of the imagination. It feels, in fact, frighteningly weak. Okay. Uh, next strategy. Next strategy, given that that was an abject failure. That's an early Plague Mask. Um, I don't know how I feel about that, but you know what? We're immediately able to get double healers, which is kind of nice. Uh, we're gonna throw an upgrade into our shop, and we're gonna head back down. I don't want to talk about that previous run. That was a warm-up. That was a warm-up, uh, in a much, uh... Come on, can we do some heals? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Do not lose... Are you freaking kidding me? We can't lose our Plague Doctor mask on the first instance. Okay, I think that we have to get, like, a different early game strategy. Yeah, we... Wow, I cannot believe that we lost on the first floor... In the first room there. That's absolutely bonkers. I mean, maybe that's making me reconsider Thick Skin. I've not really explored Thick Skin. But I think maybe that's... I think maybe that's the... Maybe that's the strat, right? I mean, we need to we need to find some way to sort of frontline better. That's for sure. We do need to find some way to frontline better. Maybe we'll go into the to the shooter ability again. I'm definitely gonna take the thick skin ability, and maybe honestly, maybe honestly, let's take two levels into the thick skin ability. Let's not worry about upgrading the shop. Let's let's not worry about that at all. I am gonna actually equip uh, equip that over there, and. How much, how much armor do we have? 25, 25 additional armor on each of these puny humans. Wow. Okay, so our shield, our shield boy is going to go down. And they're still taking, that's, wow. Okay, I mean, I actually don't think that that could have gone any better than it did, but uh, it still went miserably poorly. What do we get? Fencers can stun enemies for 1.5 seconds every 13 seconds for 40 mana. I mean, I, not good, actually. Not good, given that we don't have a single freaking fencer. Uh, we have to we have to fight this. We have to fight this here. Okay, I don't think thick skin is the way to go. I'm gonna say it. I do not think. I do not think that thick skin is the way to go. In fact, I I would I would venture that thick skin is garbage. Okay. Thick skin is garbage. What else? Any mutations? Any early game mutations that, uh, that we can go for? I mean, we could get the Fencer upgrade. I think that is the Fencer mutation, isn't it? Yeah, that is the, uh, the Fencer combo. We could try and get that rolling. I just really want to very heavily invest in mutations this game. I really should just sort of double down on a strategy. Right. Let's let's double down on Fencers. Let's, let's get the level 1 of Sail as well. I'm also going to get Thick Skin. I don't think that it's gonna work fantastically well, but you know what? Fine, let's fight our let's fight our first mutation room. This is always gonna be a boss, as far as I'm aware, or at least always like a mini boss. Wow. That is so tough. That is so tough. Okay, well at least we at least we survive. At least we survive here. Maybe should have pushed uh, this sword person up a little bit, uh, up a little bit further. What do we get? Cultists use explosive projectiles that deal 15 splash damage. I mean, okay, that's not terrible. That's not terrible at all. Again, this is another really, really tough fight here. This is just, this is just freaking brutal. How did I manage to get? How did I manage to get this far? Oh my lordy. Okay, I mean, maybe we just need to, like, re-roll until we, like, find an early combo. Let's upgrade twice and then re-roll. Double crash carts. I feel like maybe we don't take that, given that we can't, actually, because it's too expensive. I mean, swords... Sword and Claws. Pain Link, uh, Pain Link class is three, right? Yeah, that's three available. But, I mean, it gives us a little bit of extra HP. Uh, the Stale Pretzel. The Stale Pretzel would be pretty good. I'm going to take the Stale Pretzel and just a sword. Okay. So this is like, I don't know. I feel like a pretty abstract way of tackling the problem. We go for like an early shop upgrade. But, I mean, at this point, at this point, what, what else really is there? Okay, what's the HP? The HP is 150 and then 170. Yeah, fine. I mean, we have to fight this first every single time. Like, we have to. Okay. Delighted that we didn't actually lose a single person. Oh, how? Come on. Come on. Okay, well, we did lose a single person, but I mean, that's fine. 
Uh, right, more more of Rocky's gloves. I mean, I'd love to get that. I'd love to get that hidden leaf shuriken if I could, but I can't. So that's fine. I think we're gonna pick up sale. Yeah, pick up sale. I think that sale is is good from a value perspective. Um, let's not actually splash any more of our cash. I feel like this is. I feel like this is fine. Right, let's go and fight the um, the mutation room. Let's go and fight in the mutation room. Let's let's see what we got here. I don't think that we're gonna lose anyone else. Oh my lordy, we lost Excalibur, or we lost just a just a sword wielder. Explosive attack. That's literally what I got. Uh, that's literally what what I got last time around. I mean, this is this is not going well. How on earth was I able to successfully manage to navigate the the first fight of this uh, the first fight of this episode? I'll I'll never know. Okay, Banksy is looking is looking good, but I mean even even though he's looking good, I don't think uh, I don't think anyone else is looking particularly good. Not at all. That is the hidden leaf shuriken. I I like that actually. That's that's good. That's very very exciting. The nano lance is also incredible. You're still a newbie, actually. Do I do I care more about getting the thrower combo online, or do I care more about just high HP? I think I actually care more about high HP. So let's get that onto you. This is going to be a tough boss fight, but let's let's sort of chance it, I guess. Uh, we'll go for the feeds, and yeah, okay. So that's 572 HP and 341 HP. It's going to be a tough fight, but I think that we we actually have a a very high chance of success here. High HP is the way forward, right? Any item that brings high HP is is good. Is good. Is very good. Is very, very good. Anything else worth sticking around on this floor for? I mean, maybe there's a little bit more food that we can that we can gather, but probably not worth it. A winding corridor spits you out in the cozy bar. Ask no questions, drink the green growing liquid. Uh, immediately pukes if there was something special in the drink, his body rejected it. Okay, that's cool. That's good to know, actually. That means that there is, uh, only a percentage chance that you have the chance of, uh, of acquiring knowledge. Very, very interesting indeed. Okay, I think this is the teleporter room, by the way, that I was chatting about earlier. Um, lightsaber is really good from the perspective of HP. Right, here's what we're gonna do. Unfortunately... Oh, we just don't have enough, uh... We just don't have enough to buy the, uh, to buy the lightsaber, but that's fine. Anyway, that gives us the thrower combo. That gives us, uh, the lightsaber, which is, which is very, very cool. It means that we've got a little bit of extra HP, a little bit of extra front line, uh, front lining capability. All right, let's, let's move on. Let's move on. Okay, not gonna be a difficult fight, this one. No siree. Absolutely cruised through there. Wonderful. Love to see it. Oh, look, there's another special, there's another special room here. There is another special room. Fencers heal themselves. I mean, we do have, these are the fencers, aren't they? Yeah, we do have one fencer. I think it's the lightsaber. I think it is the lights, yeah, it's the lightsaber, the lightsaber here. I don't love this. I think maybe maxing out the shop right now would be, would be good. Um... Yeah, okay, max out the shop, that's completely fine. Let's head down here, see what's see what's up. It's the It's the battery charging, it's the battery charging level. Let's just go through it in the same in the same fashion. Wonderful. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. Okay, so where's the where's the lab? Excellent. The lab is actually en route. Now, this presents a, a little bit of a problem because it means that we're probably gonna have to like double back on ourselves at some point in order to get back to this area. I mean that is what it is. We'll just have to we'll just have to endure that. This is a max level shop here. This is a max level shop. What do we want to do with this? What do we want to do with this? I don't I don't really like this to be honest. I think that we I think that we go for a reroll. See if there's anything of value that we can pick up on other rerolls. Um again, this is a really, really garbage reroll. That's pretty good, because that would allow us to get the extra sword combo, the fencer's critical hit stuff. The pitchfork is also kind of nice. Receive the dodge ability. Uh, that is going to cost 14 gold, though. 
but it is kind of legendary. And it gives us 600 HP. So you know what? Sign me up. I will I will happily take that. That's that's looking really, really good. Uh, let's move over. Let's fight the food. Let's fight the food rounds. We'll do this over here. Looks like the boss might be out this way. There's a conceivable chance that, that is... That is what's happening. Did we just defeat... Uh, Darth Vader or something? I think we might have. Um, if the boss is out this way, I probably want to go straight down south in the first instance. Yeah, I think that's probably still a better play. Right, we gotta eat here. We've only got like four units though, so we're, we're fine. We're fine at the moment. This is gonna be a tough fight given that it's a mutation room. Let's actually swap these two units around. Okay. I mean, so far, so good, right? Things are things are actually looking pretty... Things are actually looking pretty good. That mage had a... Potential to, to deal some really bad damage. Uh, throwers can stun enemies for 1.5 seconds every 13 seconds for 40 mana. Or throwers burn 10 enemy mana on attack. I like the idea of mana burn, but I think I'm going to take stun. Uh, I think stun has probably got just a little bit more utility for us at this moment in time. I think now what we want to do is we want to move our... We want to move our two low HP lightsaber individuals to the back lines here. Yeah, just to make sure that we're conserving just that little bit of extra... Just that little bit of extra HP. Okay, throwers, hidden leaf shuriken. We've actually already got the hidden leaf shuriken, so that's not the the additional one that we're looking for. Uh, this is a lot of money that we've managed to build up. I I like this. I like this a lot. Is there any chance that we're going to be able to perhaps get the metabolism mutation? I did say early on that I would really love to. I'd really love to level up. I'd really love to level up everything. Vampirism. Throwers receive plus 50 to attack speed. I kind of like that idea, but I mean, it, it means that I need to level into rubber bullets and then into mana bonus, both of which are kind of useless. Kind of useless. I don't exactly love anything from this shop. I think that we maybe just hit it with a reroll. Yeah. First aid kit. I'll take the first aid kit. I don't think there's any downside to, to having the first aid kit on our team. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a good a good place to be. Let's also actually yoink this onto you here. So yeah, we now have the Lancer ability. Which is gonna be which is gonna be rather helpful, I hope. Let's 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 work on mutations. Let's work on mutations here. Double upgrade to metabolism. Yeah, double upgrade to metabolism. Very, very happy with that. Vampirism. We'll take level one of vampirism. So at least we can start like doing some, uh, some life steal ability. That would be really, really nice. Let's move you back a little bit, and then let's fight. Okay. Very happy with that. Excellent. What do we get? Seems like the T virus is in the wild already. Okay, what is uh what does that mean for us? Glad no one got infected. Uh, ripperoni pepperoni. Oops, I guess we'd better return to the mad scientist. Uh, what did you have? Oh, you were my healer. Yeah, you were my healer. I'm very miffed at that actually. I have a freaking zombie on my team now. What the heck does this mean? Uh, in the short term, it means no healing. <laughs> That's for. That's for sure. Uh, we don't need any food. Um, we actually might need food now that I think about it, given that we... Given that we... Uh, I should have just teleported. I should have teleported, but I'm, I'm still getting used to this whole idea of teleportation. Okay, let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. Uh, there's been an oops. The T-Virus has spread into the wild, and an... Am, and, and, and Amico got infected? Arg, infected. Well, that's even better. I can't make her human again, but she's welcome to stay here, and the benefits include a daily portion of brains. Uh, what reward do you prefer? 25 tokens or secret knowledge? I'm obviously going to take secret knowledge. 
Your eggheads can now summon buff targets much faster. That's freaking dreadful. I hate it. I actually hate it. Okay, so secret knowledge. Emitters are built 500% faster. Uh, that might actually be pretty... Pretty pog, actually. Okay. Our puny humans cannot move anymore. Take two of those. Yeah, we need to eat. Uh, let's, let's fuel up. And then let's move. Let's move across here. All right. Well, maybe that makes maybe that makes eggheads not terrible anymore. But I mean, I still honestly think that they probably will be terrible. I'm glad at least our our healer got infected as opposed to anyone else getting infected. I hope that that event is like, oh, your lowest level worst itemed person becomes infected, rather than potentially losing like you know, the best person in the freaking game. Nano Lance, we do have a Nano Lance, don't we? Yeah, we do have a Nano Lance. We don't have just a sword. There are a lot of pitchforks on sale here. I'm gonna pick up just a sword and then I'm gonna hit it with a reroll. Hidden Leaf Shuriken. Again, what is the last thrower? What is the last thrower item? I wanna know what that is. Reroll one more time. Uh, we'll pick up a healer kit. We'll go for one more reroll. I mean, one more reroll. I don't, I don't see anything of value here. I'm not, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling lucky, punk. I'm not feeling very lucky at all. Fury, evasion, health bonus. I mean, maybe fighter's damage is increased by 10 with every attack. That, that does seem pretty exciting. Is there a is there a bonus for for eggheads? Tentacles have a 33% chance to cast fear on attack. I mean, this is good too. Yeah, okay. Throwers receive 50, 50, uh, 50 attack speed. I, I like that. That's what we're going to do. Evasion as well. Yeah, you know what? We, we do want to get another healer. I'm actually going to get two people here. Should have actually fed first, but I mean it doesn't particularly matter. That brings the critical the critical hit ability online. Okay. I think this is okay. I think this is okay. I mean this is a I mean this is a cursed a cursed 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 run. But uh but it's actually far from terrible. Okay. Now, I'm going to put all of my highest uh, HP units over here. Swap you out. Swap you out. This this individual's got 650 HP. This one's only 170. That's 320. That's 300 and something there. So that's not too bad. Plus, we're coming into this with the uh, with the attack speed bonus, which is really really nice. This is the dog. We do not have any taunting capability, which is deeply irritating. Okay, we lose lightsaber. We lose Kylo Ren here. I'm a bit I'm a bit upset about that actually. I'm a bit upset that we lose Kylo Ren. The lightsaber is really really good and uh, to lose it really really sucks. Uh, a gentleman. Yes, Wallace. Let one human go with the strange man. Yes, I would like the 20 tokens. Who did we lose? Uh I think it was a fencer. I don't even know. I don't even know who it was that we lost, but I think that we're fine with it. Rebind the lightsaber. Probably, probably okay with that, I guess. Hidden leaf shuriken. Maybe we just actually just completely double down on throwers. I think that's what we're gonna do. You know what? If in doubt, just just more throwers. Just more throwers. It might have been our healer. I think it was a healer. I like the lightsaber. I like that. Reroll one more time. Nano Lance. We do still have a Nano Lancer here. There we go. And just a sword on you. This is looking this is looking good. I mean it's feeling a little bit similar to the last run in many in many ways, but I think I'm actually okay with that because as long as it works, as long as it feels good, as long as it feels strong, then then I guess I'm fine with things. Uh we are in desperate need of food. We're in desperate need of food, and we're gonna we're gonna make sure that we pop uh, 
we pop a feed just before we move on. Uh, come on, please. Oh, thank goodness we managed to defeat that person before we, uh, before we lost our Justice Sword. What do we got? Luke Skywalker and Scott the Barbarian here. Okay, I guess. That's fine. Uh, we're not able to get this big sword here, but I don't consider that too much of a problem. Still think that that's absolutely fine. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna move our just the sword person. Yep. There we go. And we should be fine with this. Right. I'm really looking for this third thrower here. Who did we lose? We lose, we lost one of our, uh, just, uh, just a sword person there. Okay. Allows you to go back in time once per level. I mean, maybe? I feel like that's actually really, really decent. What are we on here? This is level 3, so that's only going to have limited value. Eggheads, 33% chance to evade enemy attacks, 33% or 30% damage to the attacker. There is no egghead bonus, is there? Plus 50% to health. I really would like that, actually. Let's reroll. This is it. What do we got? All abilities are 1.5 times more likely to trigger. I guess we'll pick it up. I really dislike it, but uh, but whatever, I guess. Let's move on. Okay, we have we have intel on the boss. I like that. We're probably gonna want to fight this uh, fight this food area first. It's probably the first priority, just to make sure that we've got uh, the maximum amount of food possible. There is a shop here. Obviously, we want to check that out. Anything? No. Actually, no, not at all. I mean, I know that we've got... I know that we've got a good egghead potential. How many eggheads do we actually need? We need three. We need three eggheads before we're able to make something work. You know what? Let's let's live dangerously. Let's hope that we can get another egghead thing on the next level. Yeah, we totally can. Okay. You know what? Two... Three, four. This is what we're doing now. We are gonna go back to eggheads. I am oh my goodness, it's it's Dr. Octopus here. I'm a little bit apprehensive. I'm a little bit apprehensive that this is gonna end terribly for us, but um we now have the ability to make uh emitters, transmitters, etc. So let's just freaking go. Okay, uh, somebody got eaten there. It was somebody with a lightsaber, apparently. I think two people got eaten. I Yeah, I think it was two people that got eaten there. Uh, that kind of didn't suck. It was actually surprisingly good. But at the end of the day, I am still reliant on these eggheads, which I really do not rate uh truthfully but uh but we'll give it a crack nonetheless we'll we'll you know we'll see how we'll see how things go i think we just want to get uh we just want to get extra hp on everyone by the use of the mutation that's what i think that we're after right i think eggheads are, are good as a supplementary sort of sort of thing but um but otherwise not so much let's let's actually continue to fight this level i think yeah i think that's what we want to do we want to we want to explore a little bit more yeah. We can always teleport. We can always teleport back to the, uh... To just next to the boss room. And there's another hunger room as well over here. Cool. Alright, let's eat. Because of our mutation, that's full metabolism. Uh, evasion. Evasion on healers, which is super not worth it. But then next, we're gonna be able to get the, the health bonus here. Again, I should have waited until after we finished up with this, uh... With this with this room, because, of course, this is a shop. We are going to be spending some tokens on this room. But you know what? Hindsight is 2020, isn't it? Aha! Grenade sack. It's exactly what we were looking for. Wonderful. Okay, I am delighted. I am very, very happy with that. Uh, let's pick it up. Let's pick it up. And one, two. Let's throw back in... Well, we'll throw that on you. What else? I did buy an extra... I did buy an extra puny human. I guess we'll throw the lightsaber onto you for now. I don't think that that's entirely necessary, but it's fine. Okay. Let's fight this. I am not anticipating a difficult fight here. This is probably the strongest that we've ever been, at least on this run. It took us a couple of false starts, but, you know, we got there in the end, and now we're, you know, throwing emitters down like there's no tomorrow, I suppose. Uh, we're gonna need to buy one bit of food, and then we're gonna need to yoink ourselves all the way back over here. 
and then we're gonna head to the boss room and then we're gonna head down nice okay this uh this doc Ock looking fellow is is pretty sus but that's okay Humans come across a holographic smiling skeleton with most of its neon skin peeling off. It stands next to a wheel that looks like a giant darts target. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. The hologram. Move along. Uh, luck doesn't like being tested. Spin the wheel. And it's a prize wedge. You receive a mutation. A useful explosive mutation. Your humans will explode on death. Um, okay. Good, actually. But, I mean, it's hardly worth anything. The grav gun. The grav gun. The grav gun fast emitters. I mean, the, I don't think that we have the grav gun thus far. I'll pick it up. I'll pick it up. You know what? Uh, you know, this is it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, we're going, we're going for eggheads, apparently. I really don't, I don't like eggheads. Not at all. This is going to be a tough fight. This is going to be a tough fight. Yep. Okay. So we lose, we lose a uh, lightsaber wielder. But that's actually okay, because the lightsaber wielder was only a level 1 puny human anyway. So it's kind of to be expected, I guess. I really would like more HP, but that's fine. Okay, 20, 21, 21 food means that we can, we can feed twice before moving on. Okay, I think that we can fight this. I think that we can do this. I think that we can do this. Let's do it. It's going to be a freaking disaster, isn't it? These, these guys charge, don't they? No, they don't. They just have fury. They have fury swipes. I mean, that's actually completely fine with me. I can I can operate. I can operate with that. What is this? Toxins. Let's pick up you. Let's give you that. That's four. We need one more. We need one more egghead-related thing. Alternatively, you know what we need to do? We just need to we need to boost everyone's HP. Yeah. We need to boost everyone's freaking HP. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. Right. Let's move on. Let's move on. I think that we're probably gonna be forced to feed here unless I wanna, you know, die. But that's fine. Oh man, look at this. Okay, so we do have we do have pretty effective crowd control, what with our with our grenadiers. Uh, the emitter is also really, really nice. What do we got here? Healers have a 50% chance to deal four times damage on attack. Healthy fat. Fencers receive plus 100% HP. Uh, that would be great, but we have we have lancers, not fencers. Which kind of sucks. Eggheads return 80% of their damage to the attacker. I actually kind of rate that. I actually kind of rate that. You know what? Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's actually take that. And then let's put the eggheads on the front line. <laughs> okay, what a complete, what a complete reversal of my original plans. But I sincerely think that this is probably the best, the best play. Okay, so after we, after we move through this level here, it's the boss, it's the boss over there. Wonderful, love to see it. After we move through this level, we're gonna move all of our eggheads to the, uh, to the front line. There we go. Uh, yeah, for now we're gonna position our eggheads round about here. Yeah, cool. I'm actually reasonably happy with this. I think eggheads on the front line will be will be excellent and will allow us to use uh, will be a, will allow us to use that large HP pool and also that uh, that damage bounce back as well. That should be that should be pretty excellent. Okay, so let's boost let's boost HP. This is all tentacles, isn't it? This is all tentacle related related boosts. Tanks, fighters. Yeah, none of this really matters. I'm gonna take that. Okay, so that's the health bonus leveled up to max. That's good to know. We can't can't push it any further. I think we probably just want to fight the boss now. I think we probably just want to fight the boss. A turret. We already actually have the turret. I mean, you never know. We might get lucky. We might manage to pick up the last... I think the cart full of secrets actually is our last uh, egghead related thing. Crazily enough, I totally think that it is. Super weird, but we'll absolutely get that. That's all of our five eggheads. How do I feel about this? Um, not great, given that I said that I didn't rate eggheads very highly at all. And yet, here we are. Okay, you know what? Let's just fight it. Let's just do it. Let's freaking go. Let's hope that we get a good emitter. Let's hope that nobody dies. 
Certainly things look very, very good, actually. The amount of crowd control, the amount of emitter that we have, uh, the amount of emitter action that we've got going on, that's really good, actually. That's really, really good. We do not have enough to... We do not have enough food to feed our to feed our peeps, so we actually got to go for a little bit of an extra... A little bit of an extra gander out here. Okay, fight. I don't think there's going to be any problems here. Yeah, I mean, we've just got such large pools of HP that... I don't think that there's much that can really be done. Yeah, we're we're pretty we're in a pretty good place. I'm gonna buy two bits of food. That'll take us up to 32 food. That gives us two feedings if we need to. And yeah, so far we've not done much exploration on this floor. Obviously, you kind of need to balance your exploration with the fact that you know you've got a very limited amount of food. Man, look, all of the enemies have just stopped attacking because of the freaking emitter. Okay, you know what? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong to immediately dismiss the emitter. Okay. I think that we're going to expend one last feeding on this floor here. And then we'll be ready to move on to the next one. Yeah, how much HP do these units have? Wow, a crazy amount of HP, actually. That's insane. That is insane. Lancers, do we have any ability that suits the lancers because this is this is fencers hmm i mean getting this upgraded would be pretty good attack speed for attack speed for the throwers yeah let's actually do that sure again maybe i should have held off until after this shop but uh i'm nothing if not enthusiastic yeah either way the attack speed is really really nice it's a great bonus to have i think Given that we've got, you know, a significant number of throwers. I mean, even now we could just straight up invest in more throwers. Yeah, I actually think that that's a pretty a pretty decent play. I actually think that that is a pretty decent play. That's a Doc Ock Claw as well. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. Okay, so that's gonna be a second Doc Ock. And then a second shuriken thrower let's see if we can try and teleport to the room that's right next to the boss we can indeed i guess i'll pick up a little bit of extra food there might as well okay i feel like i've i've specced much more heavily into mutations this time and it's been it's been paying off uh as you rest by a campfire an oddly dressed man uh, materializes in front of you, chattering, Whoa, is this for real? Are you from 2022 too? Nuts, I can't believe it. What countries are you from? Who are you? Can you remember the past because we can't? Uh, I must be the chosen one then. I got here after I made a wish in an odd heathen temple. A bit cliche, but appropriate for the genre. This is a Popan... Popanantes people? An alternative world traveler? I hate these guys. Can we eat him? You can be our lucky charm? Uh, you can be our lucky charm. Richard joins the team. Richard joins the team. Richard Solid. Cool. Alright. Nice enough, I guess. It's, it's good to have a... It's good to have an extra... An extra person on board. I like that. I like that a lot. I've noticed you're not using human placement. Let me explain again. You select the human with left mouse uh, button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I understand. I understand the concept of human placement. Place healthy ones and tanks to the front. Leave the shooters in the back. That's enough for now. You'll figure it out as you go. I know. I know. I'm just not overly bothered about... Uh, about placement at this time. Man, look at this. Doc Ock has got 1,800 HP. That's actually kind of bonkers. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do that strat that I chatted about earlier. We're going to move our eggheads up to the front line. Is that all of our eggheads up here? That's five eggheads. And then we've got the other egghead over here. Throwers can stick around here. Richard, brand new. You can stick around there as well, I guess. Okay, I, I think that this is arguably a pretty good lineup. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with how things are going. Uh, yeah, this is a, a tough, a toughie, actually. I don't think that we're going to lose anyone. Maybe we lose Richard. Maybe we don't. Everyone just has such a large amount of HP, though. That's the only thing. And the eggheads. The eggheads just ain't even taking that much damage. Like, holy cow, that's kind of crazy. They're just able to just... Suck it up. That's more Doc Ock Claws. Or 
receive the attack speed aura when two are on the team. I mean, we could get a second. We could get a second. Uh, a second shooter would be nice. Doc Ock claws as well. Do I just want more Doc Octopuses? I kind of do. I kind of do. I mean, what the heck, eh? What the heck? What's the worst that can happen? What's the worst that can happen? We can have a Doc Ock takeover. All right. Uh, do I want to feed? I don't actually want to feed. I think I just want to try as is. Yeah, look at the crowd control that we have. Look at the crowd control that we have from the throwers. I don't think I've seen those enemies before, actually. That's real good, though. That's real good. Uh, right, let's go and fight this food zone first. Maybe we can pick up a little bit of extra food. Uh, there's a shop over here as well. That's cool. Good to note. Uh, also, this is a little bit of a problem. Oh, man, we got two transmitters off? Okay, I didn't realize that that was possible. Uh, I like it, actually. I like that a lot. The real issue is the fact that uh, Doc Ock is a little bit of a big boy. A little bit of a big boy and therefore I think is potentially being a little bit inconvenient with uh, with his size. There we go. Okay, instantly two transmitters on the go there. And I think that that, it, you know, maybe just more transmitters. Maybe more transmitters are the ways to, to improve the eggheads. That's... Oh, you're so low. So low. Okay. Well, we did end up losing... We did end up losing one unit here. Uh, we did get the, the cart full of toxins back, or the cart full of secrets back, I should say. So that's not necessarily the end of the world. It's a little bit inconvenient, to be honest, though. It's by two people. And you know what? We're going to double down... We're going to double down on freaking eggheads. Why on earth we're doubling down on eggheads? I, I have absolutely no idea. Let's move on, and then we'll we'll eat over here in this room. And then we're, we're maybe going to teleport around, if indeed we need to. Let's see what's going on. Okay, double, double emitter. Double emitter, that's the way. That is the freaking way. <laughs> maybe this is the... Maybe this is low-key the strat that we've been looking for this whole darn time. Uh, healers, tanks, mages. We have neither. We have neither. Oh boy, that's... That's garbage, actually. Shooters receive plus 100% to health. Um, shooters use perforating shots that deal damage to all enemies behind the primary target. I guess we'll take it. I'm super not happy about the fact that we're going to be taking that, but whatever. Let's move up to the shop, and this maybe will lead to the boss. All right. Double emitter strats. Double freaking emitter strats. I really dislike this this charging ability here. Like, it's, it's very, very problematic. They just really managed to disable my units for such a long time. Thankfully, it doesn't look like it's really having too much of an effect. Oh, wait. Did we lose two people? I thought I went from, like, 19 to... I thought I went from, like, 19 to to a lower number there. But maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm just making it up. A BFG, a Harkibus. Where's Richard? Richard is here. Richard's solid. What have you got? You've got a BFG. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll humor you, Richard. I'll... I'll give you a speed combo. I'll give you a speed combo. Any other mutations that we're interested in? I mean, maybe even... A couple of healers. Plague mask is on sale. It would at least give us a little bit of a little bit of longevity as well. Let's reroll. Maybe we can get another healer. It's a BFG again. Reroll. Uh, hidden leaf shuriken. I like I like the hidden leaf shuriken. I'll get the shuriken. Okay. Throwers, eggheads. That's the build. That is that is our build. That is our strategy. Okay, we're looking for another teleportation room. There's another teleportation room over here. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to teleport from this teleportation room to this teleportation room before we've even unlocked it, but I guess, you know, we can but dream. All right, I'm not anticipating any issues here. The one problem is the fact that our Plague Doctor is on the front line here. Yeah, that is... That is the big issue. The real problem. 
Uh, let's wait before fighting the boss. Okay, we can basically do two feedings. That's fine. Let's fight this room first. Okay, double emitter again. Man, just the HP. The HP on freaking everyone is so brilliant. The charging ability is absolutely miserable, though. Yeah. I don't think we're going to lose anyone, but, I mean, I, I've been wrong about this before, and we have lost... We have lost many units to these baddies here. Okay, more healers? I I don't know why, but I'm just doubling down on uh, on healers late into the game. There we go. Nothing. Nothing. That's a grav gun. That is a grav gun. You know what? There we go. Welcome to the team, amigo. Okay, turns out we can actually teleport all the way across here. Wonderful. Love to see it. Let's uh, Let's fight it. Let's do it. Let's hope that our healers are able to use this opportunity to heal up a little bit. Heal the team up. Doesn't look like they really were. But that's fine. What do we get? One healer attack does four times damage every 30 seconds. Shooters return 80% of the damage to the attacker. I don't think that any of that is good enough, to be honest. Eggheads? Eggheads receive plus 20 to armor. Oh, we're going to have some monstrous eggheads here. I think that's what it's got to be. I think that's what we got to... I mean, we have a team full of freaking eggheads. We have a team full of freaking eggheads. We'd be stupid to, like, not take... Uh, not take more egghead modifiers. Right. I don't think that there's going to be much more. Uh, I think that this is probably just about... Just about it. Uh, let's move... Doc Ock up here. So we got two Doc Ocks in the middle. Move that Doc Ock back a little bit. Swap you out. Alright, I mean, this is just a mess. This is just an absolute mess. But at least we're going to be able to get the two emitters down in the first instance. Right. And then, yeah, I don't think that we're going to be able to... I don't think that we're able to actually... I don't think that we're actually able to lose a unit because we're able to kill those cabbages super quick. I'm going to take... Two of these. Two of these. I think that's all that we really need to take. Let's head back. Let's head back into this room. I think that level 5 is our last level. So, you know, we got to be a little bit... Uh, we got to be a little bit careful about what we do here. Let's feed right now. I could have leveled up metabolism a little bit more. I might still do that. But, um, but we'll do that in a little bit. Maybe if we want to. Uh, we've still got the boss fight to go on this level. And that could still that could still go completely badly, horrifically, terribly wrongly. We still have one last feeding session to go, which is good. Alright, and then up to here. We might not even need to we might not even need to feed before the boss. Okay. I think this is the final boss. Don't quote me on it, but um but I think this is I think this is where we are. I'm hopeful that this is gonna be a reasonably straightforward matchup. Yeah, look at this. Okay, I mean, this is like... This is... This is fantastic. Three emitters. Three freaking emitters. We did lose... We did lose a single healer. I'm a little bit miffed about that. I'm a little bit disappointed that we ended up losing a single healer. Uh, can we throw in some... Additional mutations? Throwers receive bonus attack speed. Yeah, let's bump that up. Uh, mages, no. Vampirism, no. Newbies, tentacles. Tentacles, tentacles, tentacles. No, I don't care about tentacles. Fighters, don't care about fighters. I don't think that there's anything else that we can boost with the exception of... I guess evasion and... Evasion and rubber bullets? Sure, I get. Fine. Okay, let's let's see what the heck happens, eh? So we're going to fight number... Oh? We're going to fight number 50. We're going to fight number 50 in the first instance. I don't think it's going to be... I don't think it's going to be great. Okay. Mages and Taunt. Mages and Taunt. That is... Um, that is a tough... That is a tough combo. We do do a lot of damage reflection. And we do have an absolutely insane amount of throwers on the back line. And I think that we're going to steamroll number 50 here. Four, five freaking emitters?
Okay, all right, number 25. Uh, could we get to number one? Is this actually gonna happen? Okay, there's a lot of there's a lot of taunt action. There's definitely a lot of taunt action um, from from what I can see. A lot of these teams are favoring are favoring taunt. I can appreciate that. You know, I can appreciate taunt. We've had a we've had a pretty good experience with taunt in the past. Our last uh, our last run that, that beat the boss had uh, had a high level of taunt. But we are steamrolling here. Oh my lordy, this is incredible. Noddy, we're gonna go up against Noddy, perhaps. That <laughs> that would be exciting. All right, again. Lots and lots of lots and lots of lightsabers. Lots and lots of Kylo Ren's on the front line here. But I don't think that Kylo Ren is honestly a match for my four freaking emitters. There is one enemy emitter here, which is uh, a little bit interesting. Also, my freaking damage reflection is just bonkers. The speed at which I build emitters is actually kind of disgusting. Are we actually going to get to position number one here? I simply don't believe it. I simply don't believe it. What if, if we do get to number one, then that's gonna... I mean, that's not gonna leave us any path to improvement. I'm gonna be the best at the freaking game before the game even comes out. I mean, but this is... this is not even fair. This is not even fair. We are just steamrolling here, folks. What is going on? What is going on? Are we gonna do it? Oh, I'm, I'm now invested. I'm now invested in the prospect that we might actually straight up being with a chance of getting to number one. This is not looking good, though. This is not looking good. This is not looking... This is not looking excellent. We're down to our last couple of eggheads, and they've still got a lot of... They've still got a lot of things going for them. My emitters! Come on, emitters! Emitters! Emit! Emit! No! Oh, it was so close. Oh, it was so close. Oh, that was... That was painfully close. I can't believe it! We're in the top 10, though. We're definitely in the top 10. We're definitely, definitely, definitely in the top 10. I am... I am disappointed that we didn't manage to make it to position number one. Maybe it was just that opponent that was, uh... That was in our way. We're gonna easily beat number... What is this? Six, I think? Yeah, man, I'm telling you. Okay, wow, what a reversal. What a reversal on eggheads I've I've uh, I've had. Oh my god, look at the evasion. Look at the evasion on that singular egghead. If we were able to get evasion like that, that would be pretty crazy. Congratulations, you ranked number four. Fourth place. Fourth place in the entire world, Despot's game, of course, the game is only in playtest, and there's a very limited number of people that are actually playing. But fourth place! Ain't too bad at all. Okay, you know what, folks? I think we probably have round about... Round about... Uh, round about one last... Uh, round about one last... Uh, one last attempt at, uh, at swapping up the combos and seeing what we can do in order to defeat the final boss. Uh, you know, once you get going off the first couple of floors, things do send, uh, tend to get a little bit easier, but, uh, you know, you need to build up that momentum, and you really need to build it up really fast. Otherwise, you're just gonna get eliminated. Anyway, folks, thank you ever so much for watching this episode. Uh, thank you ever so much to all the fantastic support over on the Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash potato. Thanks to C-Senpai, Banana, Nana, Nana, and Aurelio who have been the three $25 plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.